So this is the neighborhood I grew up in. I went to this school, my kids go to this school, I met my husband in this neighborhood, my parents still live here. I'm, I'm very invested in this community and I think it's a great community and a great part of Burlington. And I, I just love the neighborhood feeling here and the community feeling here. So to be able to give another opportunity for people to connect and make that even more um, of a sense in this neighborhood, I think was important. Laura Tripp and Lindsay Siegel are the co-leads for the Sycamore Neighborhood Bump Project, which will be created just beside Dr. Charles Best Public School. So really it's the idea that you want spaces in your community where neighbors can get together and literally bump into each other, right? So, you know, they're walking through the park, they're taking their kids to school, and there are these tables in a garden where they could bump into each other, connect, sit down, bring a coffee. So just a casual place where you can get together another space. We don't have a community center in this little neighborhood, so it's just another place sort of in lieu of that where you can connect. The concrete tables are also a welcome addition for clubs and groups like a local church group who uses the park regularly or students who are out enjoying recess. When we were thinking about what we wanted to do with the bumping space, the tables were the first thing that came to mind, but we realized that that's just a place to sit. We wanted a place, too, where the neighbors could work together and interact. So that's where we came up with the idea of the garden. Um, and we were thinking of what kind of garden. We know we're hearing so much about sensory needs of kids and even adults, right? Having somewhere coming, but that you can sort of see beautiful things and smell beautiful flowers and taste some herbs. And then the idea, too, in the spring is to bring members of our community together to help us do the planting, but also potentially make some sort of wind chimes, those sorts of things, so that we can get the sound sen side of sensory. If you've got a project in mind for your neighborhood, Laura says there's no need to hesitate. It was really easy to write the application. Um, the city was super helpful whenever I had questions. And, you know, I was most concerned, I think, about the matching part of it. So you get the funds from the city and then you have to match those funds with time, donations of cash or of materials but it's been really easy to figure that out and really great we've had tons of community members who are willing to help but also local businesses reporting for halton news i'm nikki wesley